The Nintendo Switch will inevitably go down in history as literally one of the best consoles ever made with one of the best console libraries to existence. And that is why in this month, in its seventh year, we are making these two videos. The first video I made, which was last week, basically saying that these games need to come to the Nintendo Switch and why aren't they here? And this video, which is my top 10 and one extra favorite quintessential best Nintendo Switch games ever made in history. But before we talk about that, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this. All right, before we even talk about anything, let's get a couple of games out of the way. Two games. Number one is going to be Mario Kart, and I'm clearly not talking very much about this because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is quite possibly one of the best Nintendo Switch games ever made, but it's not really a Nintendo Switch game though. Like seriously, it's not. It's a Wii U port, but this game was so incredibly good that not only did they bring it to the Nintendo Switch and it got bought like crazy, it is one of the highest selling Nintendo Switch games to this day, but they also gave it a deluxe booster pass or whatever the heck they called it, where they added like 55 new races, like new maps to race in. Insane. This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then the second game is obviously The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is like the quintessential Nintendo Switch game. It is the best Switch game, one of the best Zelda games. And the reason why I'm not talking about it a little bit more is because I could go into extensive detail talking about these two games. And also because I don't have my copy of Breath of the Wild for some reason. I, I think it's in the storage. I ended up buying like the big box, not the one that came with the Master Sword, but the big box version of it. And yeah, I don't have it in my collection of stuff, but yeah. But as you guys can obviously see, I absolutely love collecting for the Nintendo Switch. I love being able to find all of these games and consoles and all of these new, well, console variants, you know. I love being able to find and, you know, go to the store and then, you know, go online too and find all of these new and awesome, insane games that have been dropping on the Nintendo Switch. And it just reminds me of year one where literally there was only like 10 games on the eShop and that was it. But now you go on the eShop and there is always a, a sale happening. There is always some new games dropping and it is amazing. Oh yeah, sorry about that tangent. We're gonna talk about my top 10 games of the Nintendo Switch. And yes, I have to narrow it down big time because there is so many good games. Like this could have easily turned into a top 50, but you know, I didn't want the video to be an hour long. You know, I wanted it to be like 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, that's why we're here. Number one, we got Super Smash Bros Ultimate. I mean, this game is just insane. I actually didn't even know that they were going to be making a Nintendo Switch uh, uh, Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo Switch and when they announced it I was caught off guard and I was absolutely excited because they said everybody was here literally everybody so not only did we get the roster from all of the games but then on top of that they added a bunch of new characters and to top it off they added a bunch of favorites like Power and Mithra they even added Sora Sora, which was the final character that was to be added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what they do in the next Super Smash Bros. game if they get, a, if we do end up getting another one. You know, we never know when it comes to Mr. Sakurai, but hey, I hope we do get another one. But yeah, as far as why I love this game, I mean, the combat is insane. They not only polished it and, you know, made it a lot more smoother and a lot faster than the Smash Bros for the Wii U and the 3DS. Um, so, yeah, they just did an incredible job. And, you know, the online is not that bad, too. It's still got a long ways to go. You know, it's not rollback net, net code or anything like that. But, you know, it, it's it's passable for Nintendo standards, I guess. We're not even going to talk about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because that is flawless internet. But, yeah. Let's go. 
Number two. Number two is going to be Metroid Dread. The long-awaited side-scrolling Metroid game, which I absolutely love. This game is insane. I mean, it is just gorgeous. And on top of that, it literally dropped with the Nintendo Switch OLED, which just was the perfect game to showcase that crisp and beautiful OLED screen. I mean, you have so many deep black backgrounds and all these beautiful, highly vibrant and colorful backgrounds too. And on top of that, Samus's suit looks so freaking cool in this. I mean, I just absolutely love this game. I've actually been playing through it, you know, on my downtime, I guess. Uh, and yeah, it is just a fun game. It is just incredibly fun. Like, they just absolutely outdid themselves when it comes to this game. And you know what? Not only is the game absolutely gorgeous, but it's also running at a mostly smooth 60 frames per second, which just adds to it. And you know, the horror and the Emmys, all of that stuff is just incredible. Incredible. And makes this game one of the best Metroid games ever made. Now, you know, it's not my favorite. It's not my absolute favorite. You know, Metroid Fusion holds that spot. But yeah, this is an excellent game. Now we got number three right here, which is going to be the Collection of Mana. Now, you know, I've always been a pretty big fan of the Mana series. I've just never actually like sat down and beat any of them, but I always like playing them. I like playing it on the Super Nintendo and the Game Boy Advance one was really good too. Um, and then this one was just absolutely perfect. So not only do you get Secret of Mana, which is, you know, the one that really popularized it, but you also get Final Fantasy Adventure, which is the original game, the first one. And you get Trials of Mana, aka Seiken Densetsu 3. I first heard this game by Space Hamster. He's another YouTuber, and he was just raving about this game and talking about how absolutely awesome it was. And so I actually went and downloaded it and realized that it was a Japanese only release. So we never got this in the US. So that is another reason to buy to buy this thing it is the fact that you are getting these three games and you know trials of mana is literally the best one it is a perfected version of secret of mana like it truly is incredible and on top of that you get six characters i believe you get to play as and they're all like unique and different and awesome so yeah this is another one that is definitely on the list now we got fourth place is going to be astral chain now this game kind of caught me off guard completely because i definitely was not expecting nintendo to drop such a banger like this and still like relatively early in its life cycle too astral chain is um you're essentially like a an anime looking police and you have these monsters that you essentially enslave and then you make them you force them to fight for you that is an oversimplification but that's basically what it is now when i tell you they went over the top and highly anime when it comes to this they absolutely did the game is just super cool looking it is extremely stylistic it literally feels like you are just playing an anime and it is truly awesome and I really like the combat style. It can be a little bit finicky at times, but for the most part, it is an excellent game. And honestly, if you have not played this, this is your alert, alarm, whatever you want to call it, to buy this game, seriously. Well, that's if you're able to find it. Now we got another Metroid. We have another Metroid game and it is Metroid Prime Remastered. Now guys, when I tell you the Metroid Prime series is absolutely amazing, I don't even think I really have to say that. If you guys don't already know it, then guys, seriously, this game is it. Now I always had an issue playing this on the GameCube. I never actually played this one. I played Metroid Prime Echoes, which is the second one. And I absolutely loved it, but it was a really hard game. So I never got the chance to actually sit down and beat it, even back then. So this time I did it and I went through and beat the whole game and holy cow, this game is insanely good. 
I mean, just the visuals. This game, yes, it is remastered, and you know, they put a nice little polish on it, but this game is absolutely gorgeous. Like, seriously, and it just runs so smooth. The combat is really awesome too, although at times it can be a bit of a pain because you end up having to switch weapons to deal with certain enemies. But for the most part, it is extremely good. It is a lot of fun. And on top of that, I haven't even talked about the music. The music, holy moly. I mean, ugh, bangers, bangers, seriously. Honestly, the underwater like song for this game is so good it is so good which you know just kind of adds to the whole underwater video game music trope that is like that that's really where the best songs come out of when it comes to video games but yeah this is definitely definitely a game you should be picking up if you have not played this yet and this is why it's on the list Now, you know, this one's a little bit random just because of the fact that this is a long awaited remaster or remake, I guess you could call it Super Mario RPG. This was one of the games that I didn't really hear of until I was a teenager. And by the time I found out about it, you know, it was well past, you know, the Super Nintendo era. But this is a Super Nintendo game that literally got remade for the Nintendo Switch. And it is so incredibly good. I mean, you have an awesome cast of characters like, you know, well, the guys that are on the cover, obviously. But, you know, you also have a extremely high fan favorite, which is Geno's. And essentially, he's like a wooden doll that is, I guess, possessed by like the gods of that realm or whatever you want to call it and i mean the guy is just super cool he is just super cool and he has some of the coolest moves ever but this game is so good and honestly nintendo showed so much love to this remake they did such a good job and it is just perfect in every way shape or form start to finish this game is just flawless and honestly i absolutely loved being able to play this game this colorful world is teeming with all sorts of landscapes like steep mountains now you know when it comes to the og rpgs there is another one that we're missing chrono trigger we need that guy to either get a remake or a remaster you know all of the above give us a port remake and remaster i'll take all of them seriously ah. now we've come to the pandemic era when it comes to list of best games animal crossing guys i was addicted to this game i was definitely one of those that in the pandemic era when it dropped it just came out at the perfect time and it was a game that just helped us relax, you know, it helped us not stress, you know, not freak out about all the craziness that was going on. It literally just dropped at the perfect time. Now, uh, this game is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to sit there and say that it's better than some of the older ones, because I do think the dialogue in the older games are better. You know, the villagers are allowed to have a little bit more attitude with you. Like They're not always happy, but, you know. This one, this kind of kind of failed in that aspect. This is a lot more happy-go-lucky, but you know, th despite that fact, it is it is still a good game. It is still an excellent game. I went crazy on this game, and I put in like over 300 hours. I mean, I got like over 10 million bells in the bank, and I just fully furnished my house and the, like the land. I just I. I feel like I did a pretty good job on it, you know? I don't know, you guys will have to tell me, but I feel like my land, my island looks awesome. Now, around the time the DLC came out for this thing, I kind of, I don't know, just wasn't really too interested on it, so I didn't really play the DLC, but despite that fact, I still think this game is excellent. 
Super Mario Bros. Wonder. You guys knew this thing was going to be on the list. You guys knew it. Now, this is the first time in a long time that Super Mario Bros., the side-scrolling version of it, got an actual update in a remake, you know, and they just went from the ground up and just did everything. And yeah, they literally did that, and I could not believe it, and this was an excellent game. They absolutely killed it when it comes to this artwork, seriously. Now, there was a lot of people that say, you know, the game wasn't as fun and as creative, I guess, so to speak, and, you know, they weren't really a big fan of the Elephant Mario, and, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a big fan of the Elephant either, but, you know, I do appreciate the fact that they were willing to take risks with the Mario, like, with the new super mario bros style game they were willing to try new things and different things and while this might this might have not been the best you know direction like i do appreciate a lot of what they did with this game like the wonder seeds are actually really cool and you know it makes the world really wacky and all that the little talking flowers are hilarious too but yeah <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot another game I could not find in my list for some reason is Super Mario Odyssey and I just remembered since I bought the Super Mario Odyssey Switch I only got a digital code for that so that's why I don't have a physical version of it but that is another game that I mean oh seriously guys this that I actually truly believe is the best 3D Super Mario Bros ever made like not just the fact that the story is amazing and there's so many good callbacks um but also the fact that there's like a thousand stars essentially making the game ultra replayable or not necessarily replayable more like you'll never be able to finish it because there's so much to do in it but yeah that's another game that is really cool i really like the whole cappy aspect to it you know the fact that you can just like transform into like different monsters and dinosaurs and frogs and stuff like that i also thought that was extremely cool and obviously who doesn't love new donk city i mean that's just great now we are winding down a bit on the list and uh you know obviously since you guys know i am a huge jrpg guy obviously i have to end it with jrpgs so we have right here Octopath Traveler. I was fortunate enough to be able to buy, buy the Wayfarer's Edition. So I got the Collector's Edition, which is really cool. And you know, this game is one of the games that reinvigorated that like itch, that little JRPG itch that I was hoping and wanting. Cause it kind of just seemed like every JRPG was kind of going the action RPG route. And that was super lame, super depressing. But this one did it. I mean, it it toted a 2.5D visual art style and all of the characters look really cool. The voice acting is amazing. And like the, the, the character building system is really cool too. Like I absolutely love this game. And we even got a sequel to it too, which I haven't played yet. But that's neither here nor there. When this game came out early in the Switch's cycle, I believe it was like the first or the second year. I could not believe it like I put in at least a hundred hours into this game and you know I, it is just a masterpiece it is absolutely one of the best JRPGs I have ever played honestly look at path actions which provide a variety of ways now last but not least this game is what what I would deem perfection when it comes to video games we have Xenoblade Chronicles definitive edition i bought the big box and i bought a digital so that's why this guy is sealed still and, you know i think i might end up opening it up one of these days but this game is just perfect i mean everything about this game i'm not a big fan of the side quests that's probably one of my only gripes i could come up with when it comes to this game but i mean it is like it's an it's a hundred hours minimum jrpg it has excellent voice acting which is you know kind of hard to say because it's all british and all that but honestly this game is just perfect it's got the anime moments it's got a ex an extremely good combat style i absolutely love like it's it's almost like a weird active style combat style and you know 
it can be a little bit rough at times when you start to get you know higher in level when you have a lot of different move sets that you can use and you know the monado powers and stuff like that but you know if you learn how to set those things up you can be crazy good and you can really break the game but yeah i absolutely love this game and oh my gosh this is like top tier like honestly this is one of the games i know they re they just like redid it you know they gave it the definitive edition but this is definitely one of the games where i kind of wish they would just keep porting it and making it look graphically better you know giving it a 4k update if we're if the new switch is able to do that i think this game would be perfect when it comes to that by the light of the monado i will stop them all right guys that is my list of awesome nintendo switch games i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know obviously i want to know what's on your list what's the top tier games when it comes to your list and i already know i missed out on a ton of games there was too many to mention i mean i left out the pokemon on purpose if you know what i mean but you know there's also fire emblem there's so many games literally so many games that are on the switch that are just top tier so let me know in the comments all right guys and as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this all right we will see you guys on the next video peace